Hey guys, it's Michael from Fire and Brilliance, and today on the F&B Geminar, today we will be going over a comparison video of eight stones. So this is like the mother load of all video comparisons. If you've been following us, you've seen us compare two stones, three stones, even four stones. Today we'll be comparing all of the stones, uh, maybe even more in the future, but today we'll be comparing eight stones. So the ones we'll be going over is a Chatham lab grown diamond versus the CNC hearts and arrows moissanite versus the better than diamond Amora eternity versus the diamond cut neo moissanite versus the Chatham white sapphire okay versus the CNC Charles and Covard standard cut and versus a natural GIA certified diamond versus a pure light moissanite all right, so today what we'll be comparing is all of the different alternatives to a diamond versus a lab created diamond versus a natural diamond. We just want to compare all close up, kind of go over in detail as to the differences and some pros and cons of those type of things and I will go over it right now. All right, so the first stone here um, is the original uh, Charles Ann Kovar Moissanite Forever One Colorless. This is the brilliant cut or the standard cut uh, and not the hearts and arrows, all right? So I wanna be able to highlight a few things on the Charles and Kovar brilliant cut. Uh, this is a DEF uh, moissanite, which is a colorless moissanite. It has a very high refractive index, meaning that the dispersion of fire and brilliance is very high. It's cut a certain way um, Charles Kovar has definitely got the methodology down in terms of how to maximize that fire and brilliance in this specific cut and therefore um, you can you know, definitely see uh, the sparkle of um, colors. All right, and this is an eight millimeter or two carat diamond equivalent weight stone. So the second stone is the Charles and Kovar hearts and arrows. Let me go ahead and show it to you and take it out, okay? All right, so um, this specific stone, guys, um, uh, it's, uh, if you seen my previous videos, it's uh, basically the same stone. It's an eight millimeter or two carat diamond equivalent weight, um, hearts and arrows, colorless stone. Uh, the difference between this stone and the first stone is that this specific stone has the shapes of hearts and arrows, hearts um, at the bottom or the pavilion uh, facing up, and um, arrows, um, or patterns of arrows rather, uh, from the uh, crown looking down, okay? So the crown, if it's facing up and you're looking down into it, uh, under specific lighting environments and specific angles, you'll be able to see those shapes, all right? Uh, so the beauty of this specific stone is that it really requires a specific type of cut. Uh, it has to be very precise to get those types of patterns, the hearts and arrows patterns, in the gemstone, all right? Um, based on uh, my opinion and based on what I've seen, this specific cut uh, has a little less uh, fire and brilliance than that of the original standard cut. All right guys, so this is the Amora Eternity. Um, this is a different one com uh, compared to the other videos I've made in the past. It's also uh, from, it's, it's all Amoras are made by a company called Better Than Diamond. This is an NAGL or a North American Gemological Laboratory certificate that certified the specific stone. All right, uh, let me take that out for you, just kind of give you the details of the stone. So this specific stone is a 2.95 uh, carat uh, diamond equivalent weight versus um, the actual weight, which is a 2.68 carats. Um, again, guys, if you do not understand the difference between a diamond equivalent weight versus the actual weight, we did, um, you know, I did make a video, um, I would say maybe a, a month or two ago. Um, and so go ahead and check that out and uh, you can kind of learn about the difference, all right? Uh, the clarity grade is an internally flawless, uh, which basically means that it's almost perfect. Uh, it's internally flawless inside, it's just not flawless on the um, surface area of the stone, all right? Uh, the color grade is an F uh, and it's an ideal cut, all right? Uh, and then there's other parameters of the stone below here, such as the depth, height, and, and those type of things. Um, so if you want to take a look there, all right? This is a, a 9.02 millimeter stone uh, by 9.06 by 5.8 millimeter stone. So this is the Amora gem that I had just mentioned to you. Um, the beauty of this gem is that it's also hearts and arrows, um, just like that um, of uh, the previous stone that I showed you, um, meaning that it will have the shapes of 
arrows uh, or the patterns of arrows under specific lighting environments and angle placements if you're looking from the stone um, from the crown facing up from an eagle's eye point of view so just like this right uh, and if you're to look at it under certain um, angle placements and lighting environments looking from the pavilion facing up um, then you'll be able to see the hearts um, okay uh, I'm not sure if the camera will be able to capture that only because it does require specific um, again lighting environments and angle placements um, for, for you to actually see it and this specific stone here uh, for a more a more eternity better than diamond basically the way uh, to differentiate uh, themselves compared to that of um, Charles and Kovar is that Charles and Kovar um, they have cutters um, and, and people uh, that will cut the stone with machinery but by hand uh, as opposed to uh, better than diamond amora eternity uh, what the way they cut their stones is that they will use robotic arms so it's all by uh, equipment machinery and um, uh, basically robotic arms okay so it's all programmed in and how it's cut the next uh, specific stone that I want to show you uh, in which I've all already showed in my previous video but in, in terms of comparison purposes and for the specific video on all eight stones um, I'm going to take it out again this is considered a pure light uh, moist night okay uh, it's relatively new to the market uh, here's what it looks like okay pure light so similar to that of other moist night where they provide a lifetime uh, warranty and those type of things okay uh, it's packaged just like that and it comes in, um, it comes like this. Depending on where you buy it, it may be packaged differently, but this is how uh, we received it. Hopefully you guys could see it. Um, this specific stone, again, is also made, uh, is also a moissanite, so it's also made by silicon carbide, just like the first three stones, all right? Uh, the difference between this specific stone, the Pure Light versus the Amor or Charles Covor, is that it's a, a relatively new um, brand. Um, it, based on what I've seen, it looks like it has a little less fire than that of the other stones. All right. Uh, it's still nice. It really depends on um, what your preference is, what your taste, what your individual unique style is. Some people prefer a lot of fire. Some people prefer um, some fire and some people do not prefer that much sparkle at all. Um, based on this specific stone, um, it looks, it seems to be slightly hazy to me, uh, but uh, you know that can also be a preference to many people. So um, hopefully you can see that there. So this is the Neo Moissanite, the diamond cut, okay? Uh, we've released a few videos um, as of late based on the specific diamond cut, the Neo. Uh, the difference between this stone and the rest, well, first of all, let me show you this. Uh, this is how it comes uh, in terms of uh, their certificate of authenticity, and you can register it online for the manufacturer warranty as well, just like the other Moissanite, okay? Um, now, the difference between this specific stone is, uh, well, first and foremost, all of these stones that I've showed you are all colorless, okay? Uh, this specific stone for the Neo specifically, they do not um, go up to a D color. It only goes up to an E and F color, but it's still considered a colorless. Colorless meaning it's graded in the diamond scale between D, E, and F. All right, uh, so this is definitely a colorless stone just like the first four stones that I had showed you. Uh, but this specific stone specifically, it's, uh, it's called the diamond cut because what they will do is they will mimic the proportions or the cut like that of a diamond. All right, uh, and what that basically does uh, as opposed to um, some of the other cuts is that uh, by, by doing that, it uh, reduces the um, overall sparkle and it, it, it does not necessarily mean that it's not sparkly. So as you can see, it's still very sparkly, all right? It's just not as sparkly as the standard or brilliant cut of Moissanite. Uh, and the purpose of that is to, uh, first of all, mimic uh, or um, showcase something, a stone that's like that of a diamond. And the proportions of the cut is closer to that of a diamond as well, uh, where uh, the crown of the stone is slightly higher than that of a, a regular moissanite cut.
All right, guys, so this one is really neat. Um, this is a Chatham white sapphire. For, for those of you that, ha that, has been, or that have been following us, Fire and Brilliance, uh, you might have noticed that we've uh, recently released uh, a new line of uh, gemstones, lab-created gemstones, colored gemstones to uh, white gemstones, okay, all lab-created. And uh, the company that we've partnered with is called Chatham. Um, and this specific stone is a white sapphire a lot of people that prefer natural gemstones uh, over moissanite or even lab created gemstones over moissanite that wants a diamond alternative which is the purpose of this video uh, will go with a white sapphire because um, you know it relatively looks the same even though it's not exactly the same uh, but uh, let me take it out for you and kind of explain all right guys so here you go this is the chatham lab created white sapphire all right, uh, again, a lot of people will use this as a diamond alternative if they prefer something other than moissanite, uh, but not a diamond, all right? And um, the, the, the one, the, the beauty of this specific stone is that the, um, if you've been following moissanite, uh, the reason why it's so popular is because it's very hard. Uh, diamond being the hardest with a Mohs grade scale, Mohs M-O-H, right, grade scale of a 10, a moissanite will range anywhere between a nine and a quarter to nine and a half, and a, a, a sapphire uh, falls under about a nine. Okay, um, so um, it's it, although it's softer than that of a diamond, softer than that of a moissanite, it's still um, you know relatively strong or durable or hard. Okay, uh, and it's a great alternative if that's what you prefer. If you do not prefer moissanite, if it's too sparkly for you, or and if you do not prefer diamonds altogether, then a sapphire, a white sapphire, might be the right one for you if you're looking for a clear and white stone, all right? Uh, the difference between a sapphire and the other uh, stones, uh, including a diamond, is that if you notice the fire and the brilliance, uh, there isn't too much light uh, uh, or colors reflecting from it. Uh, you'll see a lot more white light as opposed to uh, different colors. And white sapphire is made of a mineral called corundum. So this is 